Hello and welcome to Fairy Rugby on Fairy Sports. And some big news on a Monday is that the first Springbok alignment camp will take place in the, uh, in the in the coming week with a group of 43 players that have been invited down to Cape Town uh, for the first uh, alignment camp of the new era, really. The rest of the world, it's another rest of Erasmus era, but uh, a new World Cup cycle and with it new players, new coaches and a new journey to 2027 where we were trying to go back to back to back and achieve a an incredible three-peat uh, if we were to go and win the World Cup once again. But plenty of stuff before then. We've got an Ireland series this year. We've got a first ever test against Portugal as well as the Rugby Championship who I think is, is going to be really, really good. And fixtures-wise, really do potentially suit the box to potentially try and go and get uh, a trophy there. Now, before we go through the squad and talk about who is... Uh, uh, unlike to myself, for example, and some notable absentees and stuff like that, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. There are 43 players who've been invited. Uh, the others, there are 39 domestic players, as well as four Japan-based players who are injured and are currently doing their rehab um, in South Africa. So they are available over here. Um, and um, they will... Uh, join the, the the 39 domestic players who are um, going to be part of of, the, of this alignment camp. Um, basically, um, it's it's about showing them the female culture based. So this, what these alignment camps are, they're not sort of really training camps. It's, it's about alignment. And so what it is, it's about basically players being invited and uh, to to a a, a spring mark environment where the coaches can basically say. This is how the spring box work. This is how we operate. This is how we want to play. This is what we expect from you at test level, for example. And, you know, this is your sort of roadmap on how you can become a spring box and how you can continue to be a spring box. Uh, you know, there are 16 uncapped players in this uh, in this group, as well as a selection of players who obviously been part of uh, pre previous, previous squads and have been capped, as well as a large portion of, obviously, World Cup winners. The likes of, you know, your Bongi Manambis, your Sinem Hartsburgs, for example. Um, that's not how I spoke. I'm busy reading it now. You're, but your Oxen Chairs by Mark of Starden, um, Kane Moody, for example, Francois Malherber, uh, all sort of part of that, obviously, that World Cup winning squad. Uh, but let's go through the squad, shall we? And uh, have a look at exactly who are some interesting picks and who are some unlucky players to miss out. Uh, in the forwards, it is Ian Etzebeth, Nathalie Fischer, Jan Kravalov, St. Pedro Gemedi, Cameron Honecomb, Andre Hugo Fenter, Vincent Koch, Ulrich Lowe, Vilko Lowe, France Malherba, Bongi Minami, Malcolm Marks, Intu Kunkunu, Salma Murat, who only just got back from injury, um, Oxen Chair, Ruan Nokia, Evan Ruas, Kwaka Smith, Kheras Dinekamp, Marnus van der Merwe from the Cheetahs, that's a very cool selection, Ruben van Heerden, Marco Verstaden, Ruan Fenter, as well as Jan Hendrik Vessel. Very interesting to see Marnus van der Merwe being called up, the only Cheetahs player that has been uh, uh, given the opportunity, and uh, I think that's a really positive move, more so for the cheetahs in general then then particularly for him it's more about the fact that a cheetahs player can now feel they can actually be picked for the spring marks coming out of the cheetahs and uh, so that in itself is quite an interesting move although i think personally him being called up will suddenly put him you know raise some flags and i would be surprised if you see a urc side going and uh, and trying to get him in there so a couple of interesting ones i, I really like the fact that peter gamedi's been called up uh playing some brilliant rugby and for me you know would really suit the spring box obviously cameron honicom is, uh, is a name that has been on the the everybody's lips in the last sort of a uh, few months uh vocal low back in the mix on the right it's somebody they've, they've they've long rated um ron fenter very exciting young player from from the lions obviously and uh, Jan Hendrik Vessels uh, coming from the Bulls as well. So uh, a couple of people that are saying that um, from a forwards perspective, very hard done by the likes of Achiba Daimani, uh, which I think is very right. Akifana Merva, for example, Franco Horn. You know, I think those are three players who, I could, for me, could easily have been part of the mix. And a very big absentee is no Dion Fury, uh, which we kind of expected, I suppose, to a certain degree, in terms of him not probably playing more, much more spring rugby. But uh, this is almost confirmation, really, that he will not be involved in the plans moving forward. If you look at the backs, it is Lacanya Am, Kurt Lawrence, Faf de Klerk, Sasha Feinberg, Gomez Zulu, Sneeman Hartenberg, Jaden Hendrickser, Jordan Hendrickser, so both the Hendrix brothers, uh, Kewen Horn, Herschel Yankees, Jesse Creel, Villa Rue, Miley Bock, Makazulma Pimpi, Kane Moody, Sanena Nahamba, Mone Vandenberg, Henker van Veik, Grant Williams, Damien Willems. Uh, so the big, all well, the surprise selections there, uh, or players who have not really been involved in, in a sort of Springbok setup at the moment so far, 
you know, like Jordan Hendrickson, uh, I'm not actually playing that much rugby at the moment for, for the Lions. But uh, Nahamba, back in the mix, he actually has been part of the Springbok alignment camp before. But Morty van den Berg yeah, gets the call up. Pinkup and Blake, obviously, a very exciting player with part of the SAA side as well. Um, and then Hartzenberg and uh, Shashfam and Gomazulu, the two young Stormers, uh, well, played at centers over the past weekend. They get an opportunity as well. Uh, so, yeah, from a back line perspective, I'm trying to think of, of players who are unlucky. I think Edel van der Merve, for example, is someone who's quite unlucky to miss out. Um, I think Ambrose Pierre is somebody who I think is very unlucky to miss out as well. Uh, I think he's been probably the form scrum off in the country for the last few months. So I'm very surprised um, that he has, especially somebody who has played for the box before. I'm very surprised that he's not in the mix. But uh, there you go. Those are the squads. That has, well, the squad that has been invited to the alignment camp, uh, which was taking place on Tuesday, well, start on Tuesday, the 7th of March. So in just over two weeks' time. Um, I think it's Tuesday, the 7th of March. Uh, Monday, the 4th of March is where they're gonna, is where they start. Uh, there we go. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of the squad down in the comments below. Please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.